Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very powerful video of factorial equations. Today we will be solving n factorial whole square over n minus 3 factorial times n plus 1 factorial equal to 3 over 2. While solving this factorial equation, we will see the recursive formula, algebraic manipulation and then we will conclude our answer. So let's get started without wasting time. I will write first the recursive formula for factorials. That is n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 factorial. Okay. So I will write our equation as n factorial times n factorial over n minus 3 factorial and denominator this one is as it is unchanged 3 over 2. Now we will use our recursive formula. How? The numerator n minus n factorial only I will write n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 factorial and you can see Denominator is n minus 3 factorial. Now second term. I won't touch the numerator. I will write recursive formula for denominator this time. So it will be n plus 1. One number lesser than this. So n factorial. So this will be cancelled out. Here this term will get cancelled out. Right hand side is 3 over 2. Now what is left? n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over n plus 1 equal to 3 over 2. Now let's cross multiply the numbers and variables. So I will write 2 times n. Let me take the product of n minus 1, n minus 2. So it will become n square minus minus 2n minus n minus 3n plus 2 equal to 3 times n plus 1. Now expand this, open this bracket. So I will write 2n cube minus 6n square plus 4n equal to 3n plus 3. If I will take all the terms to the left, then it will form our cubic equation 2n cube minus 6n square plus n minus 3 equal to 0. This is our ultimate cubic equation. Now we have to focus on this equation and we will solve for the value of n. Solve this cubic equation for the value of n. So now we have got three ways possible. Three ways are there to solve out, to find out the value of n from this cubic equation. First one is remainder theorem, which we know. Second one is synthetic division. And third one is long division. So let's use again the synthetic division method. It will take lesser time. So synthetic division I will use. Okay. So for synthetic division or remainder theorem or long division, we need one, one solution or one root of the given cubic equation. So how we will find out that one root? So let's sum up few things. See, using rational root theorem, we can conclude the eligible values of n. How it is? There are two terms. One is leading coefficient. This is 2. One is constant term of the cubic polynomial. What we have to do? We have to find the prime factors of leading coefficient and constant term. So if you will find out the factor of 2, leading coefficient is 2. So factors of 2, that would be 1 and 2. So plus minus sign you have to consider. Similarly for the constant term, 
the factors of 3 can be 1 and 3. So I will write plus 1 and plus minus 3. Now eligible or possible solutions we can get possible roots or solutions we can get from the ratio of constant to the leading term. So if you will set up or you will find out then I can write how many ratios are possible. So I will write plus minus 1 over plus minus 1 plus minus 3 over plus minus 1 then for plus minus 2 plus minus 1 over plus minus 2 and plus minus 3 over plus minus 2 okay so overall if you will find out so we will be getting from first ratio numerator can be positive denominator can be positive so 1 now numerator can be negative denominator can be negative so minus 1 similarly plus 3 minus 3 similarly plus half minus half similarly plus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2. so out of these eight possible roots or solution one value will satisfy or three values will satisfy to this equation so as per the given order let me put n equal to 1 so 2 minus 6 plus 1 minus 3 it is not coming out 0 minus 1 if you will check it it is also not let me put minus 1 2 into minus 1 whole cube so minus 2 minus 6 minus 1 minus 3 all numbers are negative cannot be 0 let me put n equal to 3 so 2 times 3 cube 27 times 2 54 minus 9 into 6 54 plus 3 minus 3 that is equal to 0 as you can see that means one root is confirmed that is n equal to 3 now using synthetic division method i will find out the remaining two how let us find out n equal to 3 let me write all the coefficients of the cubic equation 2 minus 6 1 minus 3 first term as it is 2 now we will multiply 3 into 2 6 so 0 3 into 0 so 0 now it will be 1 3 into 1 so 3 0 so the coefficients left 2 0 and 1 so if i will write or frame equation then I will write 2 n square plus 1 equal to 0 one root is confirmed one solution is confirmed that is n equal to 3 for second and third root we are solving this quadratic equation let's solve 2 n square plus 1 equal to 0 I will write 2n square equal to negative 1. That means n square is equal to minus 1 over 2. I can write i times i square is minus 1 over 2. So n will be equal to plus minus i by 2. Which is you can see it is complex root or complex solution so we will reject this rejected now what i will do that is n equal to 3 is our ultimate solution let's verify verification whether it is satisfying the equation or not so i will put values here in this equation let me put the value 3 factorial whole square over 3 minus 3, 3 so 0 factorial 3 plus 1 so 4 factorial 3 factorial means 6 it is 6 square 4 factorial means 24 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so that will be 12 into 2 so 24 36 over 24 equal to if i will cancel by 12 
so it will give us 3 by 2 which is our right hand side hence verified n equal to 3 is our final solution this is how we can solve this kind of factorial equation i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe share and like thanks a lot we'll meet tomorrow